So we are at Montezuma Castle uh, here in Arizona. And this is the museum uh, that has a lot of information about uh, oh, the Spanish and settlers and uh, the tools that were used to make the, uh, to make the castle, the people who, uh, who lived here. It's a really cool little museum uh, that they have. Uh, apparently, Teddy Roosevelt helped uh, with this area out here too to, to uh, get it made into a, a national monument. But it's, a, it's really neat. This is my first video taken with my new GoPro, so I'm hoping everything turns out good on it. But uh, we're going to go outside here in a few minutes and, uh, and check out uh, exactly what, uh, what Montezuma's castle looks like. So we're walking down a trail here at uh, Montezuma's castle. And uh, <laughs> they say it's not uh, too far down the trail and we'll get to encounter the castle, but it's, uh, it's a little warm. I think it's supposed to hit like 102, something like that today. And uh, oh, look up there. Montezuma Castle National Monument protects a set of well-preserved dwellings located in Camp Verde, Arizona, which were built and used by the Sanagua people between approximately A.D. 1100 and 1425. Sanagua comes from the Spanish sin agua, meaning without water, but unlike the name implies, they actually had plenty of water. Established December 8, 1906, Montezuma Castle is the third national monument dedicated to preserving American Indian culture. This 20-room high-rise apartment, nestled into a towering limestone cliff, tells a story of ingenuity, survival, and ultimately prosperity in an unforgiving desert landscape. It is not actually a castle, but a pre-Columbian Pueblo Indian cliff dwelling. It was named by early European settlers who incorrectly thought the structure was related to the Aztec emperor Montezuma II. A self-guided one-third mile loop trail leads you past an incredible five-story cliff dwelling through a beautiful sycamore grove and along spring-fed Beaver Creek one of only a few perennial streams in Arizona. Just taking a walk. There's some some of those plants. I think they said that these were mildly poisonous. Uh, those plants were. And I'll get the name and post the name on here. But uh, it's a beautiful day here. I mean, look at these trees. And if you see over here on these trees, You'll see what looks like bandages around the bottom. It's for people have vandalized the trees, carved their names and stuff in. That's I'm sorry, but that <laughs> that irks me to no end. That people would be that selfish to do that. This is a, a stream that's near the uh, the cliff dwellings that brings water close by. And as you can see, the dwellings are like right, right there. But the stream is right here and it provides water uh, for them, which made it very convenient. And what I think is pretty too, are these little purple flowers. I think those are pretty, these little purple flowers here. You can see right up there some of the structures that have been built in the walls. The 
Here are some still shots of our visit to Montezuma Castle. There are a lot more videos coming up, so please stay tuned. A thumbs up would be appreciated, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.